Hey guys, I am starving. I can't decide if I want a burrito or bacon. I mean, it's a good time for a burrito, it's a good time for bacon, but it's always a good time for both. Let's have both. So let's make our marinade. I've got one cup of beer. The rest of the beer was for the cook. I've got half a teaspoon of granulated garlic, half a teaspoon of cumin powder, ground cumin, half a teaspoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of salt. Yep, that's pretty easy to remember. Now look at that. Now we're just gonna kinda mix this up a little bit and set it to the side. For my burrito, I'm gonna need some beef. And I can't think of a better cut of beef to use than the ribeye, so that's what I'm using. Trim off some of this excess fat. Big old hunk of fat, it got to go. Same here. Now we're just gonna take our cuts of beef, cut them in half. I could have bought a thin steak, but you know, I didn't plan that far ahead. Then these are going to marinate. What we're going to do, we're just going to kind of mix this around in the marinade a little bit. And we're going to let it sit here on the counter for about half an hour or so. Okay, I've got one pot of water. i got a pot of water. All right, my water's coming up to a boil. i got just enough to kind of cover everything. Well, maybe not. i got half of a medium onion, one clove of garlic. I've got quarter, a quarter cup of chilled tapine peppers. We'll turn that down. So I'm going to add a little more water. Because so I kind of want to cover everything. There we go. How much water is not really important. You just want it covered. So anyway, my chilled tapine. A friend of mine brought me these from where he's from. These are pretty nice. <laughs> now these little devils are spicy. Now in the Sonora area, it's not uncommon to see something like this on the table. And this is a, a grinder. You put the chilled tapine in there, and you turn it, and it comes out. <laughs> Be careful, stuff spicy. So after five minutes, my chilled tapine have softened up just a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take them out of here, put my garlic and onion, put it in the blender. Now, if you want a spicy water, this is it. All right. And to my blender, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, one teaspoon of oregano, and I'm gonna put four cans of El Pato. This is tomato sauce with chili. You can just use regular tomato sauce if you want to. Don't worry about it. This is just what I happen to be using. I've noticed that uh, some of the taquerias around here, I think their salsa includes this. Now traditionally, you'd make chilled tapine salsa with tomatoes and blending them up and all that, but this is an easy, quick method, and I like easy and quick. And besides, the guys at work kind of like this stuff. Although the first time, I used one cup of chilled tapine, and let's just say that was a little spicy. All that's left to do is blend this up. I'm going to salt it a couple times to break up the onion. Now we're going to give it a taste, see if it needs anything. No, that's good right there. Got a little bit of fire to it also. Okay, I have my meat here. I have drained off most of the marinade, although I did not pat the meat dry. I'm sure somebody's going to tell me I should have done that. And they're probably right. But I'm not doing that. Taking my griddle, 
that's preheating, putting just a little bit of oil on here and spreading it around. It doesn't need a lot, just really just a little bit for the surface. start putting our meat on here. And I know this is sacrilege, but I'm going to be cooking this almost well done. And when the meat is done, we're going to take it off the griddle, put it on the cutting board, and let it rest. Give it plenty of room. Okay, our steak is rested. It's time to cut it up for our taco filling. See, there's a little bit of color left in it, which I, I like that. I don't want it all, all the way cooked. And we're just going to dice this up. My griddle's heating up. It's not real high or anything. I'm going to put my tortilla on here and let the tortilla start to uh, get flexible. Because when you first take them out of the package, unless they're really, really fresh, if you start trying to roll them up, they'll break. So I heat them up a little bit. You can do them in the microwave or whatever. But I got a hot griddle right here. So we're going with that. All right, this is, I've heated it up on both sides, so it's pliable now. We're gonna put it right there, and we're gonna get to work on it. First thing I'm gonna put down, I'm gonna put some avocado. Put some roasted green chili. This is Hatch Green Chili. Gonna put some tomato in here. We're gonna put some of our steak that we cooked earlier. Well, that stove is making a lot of noise. And we're going to put a little bit of our salsa in here. And you want to be kind of careful with this because it is fiery. And you can add more later. Now we're going to do the standard burrito fold. We got a nice little pocket. Now we're going to put down some bacon. Now to our bacon, we're going to put our burrito. Now our burrito is going to go down on the flat top.
We gotta make sure all the bacon's cooked. We don't like raw bacon. And when the bacon's cooked, we're gonna take it off and we're gonna put it on the cutting board. Let that bacon cool down so that we can handle it. So let's cut into our burrito and see what's happening inside. Oh yeah, it's looking pretty good. So let's give our burrito a try. <laughs> the meat inside is excellent. It goes great with the salsa and the avocado and everything and the salty bacon on the outside. I should have made about a dozen of these, man. 